Hello Virgos! <clears throat> this is your reading for the 28th through the 29th. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. So if you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Thank you guys for coming to check me out. Let's see what's going on for Virgo in love for the 28th through the 29th. What's going on for my Virgos? Please show me what messages do we have for Virgo? <clears throat> the Wheel of Fortune. I feel a lot of changes going on with you guys. There's a situation that you see um, that has a lot of potential, I feel. A lot of changes going on. Okay. And I feel like, you know, what's actually going on is something that you guys have... You have a lot to do with what's going on right now. There's something that I feel like um, you guys have done that has has brought something in <clears throat> to your life that you've manifested something here okay into existence in your life currently and um you guys you guys have got something going on here let's see ten of cups a relationship a relationship i feel that um you see a lot of potential happiness in you feel like you deserve this. Piscean energy there. <clears throat> Seven of Cups. You're still not quite sure about, you know, if this can bring you what it is that you feel like you deserve truly though. You see the potential for um, complete and utter emotional fulfillment. But I'm feeling like there's something about this connection, this relationship that confuses you emotionally. Okay? Not, be, not really being sure of how you feel. Okay? Scorpio energy there. The Eight of Swords, yeah. Um, it's like you don't really know what it is that you want or how you feel about this, this connection, this relationship. Something that you've manifested, okay? This is karma at play here. You're not really sure how you feel about it and you keep kind of, you going back and forth. Feeling trapped because you really don't know what to do is what I'm getting from this, okay? Show me more about the Wheel of Fortune, please. Please show me more about the Wheel of Fortune. The Knight of Swords. There's somebody that wants to say something to you. There's somebody that really sees like potential in you too. Um, and it's like they, they really, they're in a hurry. They're anxious, this person. They're anxious. I feel like somebody has just, there's some shocking news that somebody wants to relay to you guys. Or either this confusion is possibly prompting you guys to end something here or someone wanting to end a relationship with you guys or end a situation with you guys.
Somebody, somebody feels very hurt and feels like something is over here. Well, it's a lot going on there. Somebody has some truth to tell. I saw that Ace of Swords there, but I'm going to put all of those back. Please show me more about the Seven of Cups. Look at that. Very indecisive. Not really knowing. I don't know why I want to hold it up to the computer. <laughs> Not really knowing um, what to do in this situation. Thinking a lot. Thinking a lot about um, what it is that you actually wa want and what you want to do. Should you break up? Should you move on? Uh, should you choose another option even here? Please show me more about the Eight of Swords. The Hierophant. You know what you expect. You know what it is that you actually want. Um, you want something very traditional. So, you know, I'm getting, you know, the confusion is surrounding whether or not this is the relationship that's good for you. Okay. I think that um, this relationship may be something that is good for you. Okay. But you guys are not really sure, I feel, if this is the individual that um, you should be with. Hmm. What energy is coming in for Virgo? What energy is coming in for Virgo? The sign. Happiness. The Ten of Pentacles. Oh, wow. You know, so... This is but this this tower falling under the ten of cups this is more so of like a feeling of too good to be true and that kind of confuses somebody here okay almost like you know you're restricting or somebody's restricting themselves um because this feels like it's too good to be true so it is like it is making you unsure or it's making somebody here unsure of themselves kind of rethinking or overthinking this situation. Somebody's contemplating breaking up here because it's like thinking the worst, thinking this is too good to be true. Thinking about exploring other options. But I see real happiness and commitment here. Okay? Most definitely. Why is this happening? Four of Swords. And the Two of Swords. I'm feeling like you guys are overthinking this situation okay you're stuck in your own thoughts talking yourself out of being happy basically thinking about breaking this off because it seems too good to be true knowing what you want and you you have it you have the potential here because I see true happiness coming in for you but you've been hurt you've been hurt and you want to make the decision to be happy to have this Ten of Pentacles and this Ten of Cups and the Sun and the Hierophant, okay? But this Eight of Swords energy, this overthinking, this stressing out, this worrying about, is this truly the right one? Is this person too good to be true? It's like you're holding yourself back. I'm feeling you just want to take a time out to kind of really think about this. 
I would say that, you know, I'm seeing a lot of indecisiveness here. But I would say, you know, before you make any hasty decisions, really think about this. Um, because I do see the potential for a long lasting relationship here. Definitely before um, breaking up if you guys have not already break, broken up with someone, okay? Don't shoot yourself in the foot, guys. Okay, so we have Aquarius, Scorpio, Libra, Taurus, Gemini, um, Pisces, Leo energy here. All right, guys, so that's what I have for you, and I'll be speaking with you guys soon.